there, and welcome to a very special uh, kind of one-time video. Haven't done one like this in a while. Um, if you guys have followed any of my super early YouTube videos, um, I did one about uh, my Sony Dream Machine, my uh, alarm clock radio dying, and then I did uh, also Sony PlayStation memories because uh, my Sony PlayStation, the first one, also <laughs> died right around that time. So, um, haven't really done uh, videos like that in a, in a little while just because I haven't really had anything to talk about uh, electronic-wise. Um, and, you know, I, I always have so many different projects planned and things planned um, that you know, the few electronic videos I want to do have gotten, you know, pushed aside or, you know, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's the boring part of this. But as you can tell, I'm not really the, the main focus. I'm, I'm kind of hiding out over here. Uh, this sucker right here, the GE uh, CR television um, bubble screen, as they're called, is the main star. Uh, I don't actually uh, know the official model of uh, this one. Uh oh, the cops are coming. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know if, if there was a. Uh, I, I don't know if there's like a specific name, like the GE Trinitron 68000 XR. Um, like, I, I don't know the official title. I just know that it's got, like, the, that fake plastic wood grain paneling 70s look. Um, if I had to slap a year on this, I'd probably say early 90s, um, perhaps late 80s. Um, it's not super old. This is actually when they started making them a little bit shittier, and they started putting them in sort of, like, um, bigger, bigger production in, you know, assembly line, as they say. Uh, but there's the uh, sensor for the laser for the remote, you know, so that always had to be really big and had to be centered. Um, and then as f future TVs went on, they got smaller and smaller, and then they completely disappeared pretty much altogether uh, from the television. Um, but the whole reason why uh, I'm doing this video is because I'm going to be getting rid of this. Uh, it's not broken it's not um uh. it, there's not necessarily anything wrong with it um but i just already have three and don't really have room for this one as you can tell it's really big it's really hard to move and uh this is also just one of the cheaper uh crts that i've had or crt tv or crtv uh that i've had um and also i've noticed when i've hooked up uh vcrs to this um, TV to this, uh, video games, of course, uh, the picture is kind of off. There's something wrong, uh, with the resolution. It doesn't quite line up. So some of your game will get chopped off over here or down below or all together. It just chops off stuff. Uh, the guy that I got it from, he said he had problems with it too. And he took it apart and tried to look at it. And it's just not something I really care to mess around with because it's not a well-built, uh, television. I have older televisions upstairs, obviously, that I'm going to keep. Um, and they just work a lot more efficient than this one does. Um, and, and, and But it was neat acquiring this and using it. It definitely came in handy. You know, I, I, I played a lot of games on it. Uh, but I just feel that the sound is really uh, shitty compared to the other ones. And just the overall build of this, you can just tell, you know, just listening to it. It's very... It's very hollow, it's very, uh, it, it's, it's just poorly assembled, you know, and I don't mean the shit on GE, because General Electric's makes some great products, but this particular television was probably a price point, um, maybe for like a single person who just needed something in their apartment or home or something, just so you had some form of television, but this is by no means a higher end one, there's definitely higher end uh, bubble screen TVs. And by the way, I've always loved that noise. Ever, ever since I was little, I've always wanted to like hit the screen or smack the screen or someone's on there and you're like, look, look, I'm smacking the newsman. And I've always uh, grown to really accustomed to that like noise. It's, it's hard to explain it. I don't know if you guys, if that's registering on there, but um, 
that's something you're not going to get with the new TVs. And obviously with the new TVs, uh, like this one over here, um, you know, you're, you're not going to want to do that anyway, because, uh, there's a good chance that, uh, you could, uh, probably break it <laughs> if, if you knock it. So, um, I will say the screens, man, they really were built a lot more, uh, stronger than today's screens. Today's screens can actually, like I said earlier, just break really easily, but they look great. They're a lot more efficient. They're thinner. You can hook up a lot more stuff to them. This one, all it has is a coax cable, and that's it. I don't know if you guys are able to see that, but right here, that's it. It just has one, and it says cable slash antenna. Um, cord, of course. Nothing special there. And then uh, there was like a label that slowly peeled off over time. Obviously, it got wet because this was stored in a basement at one point, as are many, uh, you know, bubble screen televisions. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it was just a cool TV. I got it from a really cool guy. Um, we were at, yeah, my girlfriend and I, we were hanging out with him late one night. And he just knew, he knew I was a big video gamer and took me in his basement. And I fell in love with it. And I was like, I want to take this home. And he's like, yeah, I need to get rid of it. So... I got it for free. It was a match made in heaven. Um, but how much did he pay for it? Probably when it came out, probably like 50, 60 bucks. Maybe a little more than that. Um, I mean, these suckers were top of the line at one point, so they definitely were really expensive. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't have a ton of an of attachment to this one, but since I was getting rid of it, uh, I figured I'd do this little thing just for memory so that I know, like, this is sort of a document that I have this. And um, it's also just kind of for uh, an excuse to just talk about these televisions. Um, the coolest one was the one that my grandparents had. They actually had the turnstiles. They actually had the turn knobs on there. I always wanted that TV. And uh, unfortunately, after my grandfather passed away, uh, a lot of the stuff in the house just got cleaned out. So I don't know what I don't know what happened to that television, um, but I always try and keep my eyes out at like flea markets and thrift stores and stuff, and they're hard to come by because most of them are either thrown away or they're snatched up by like hardcore collectors that like really want that kind of stuff. And it's like the ones like this you find all the time, like next to a dumpster. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, one other cool thing that I'll do real quick. I'll get this guy uh, plugged in so we can experience that uh, oh so fine, um, what do they call it, the, um, that, that oh so fine, um, not, yeah, static or bubbles, I don't know, I, I can't, I can't think today for some reason, but here we go. Oh, it's programming right now, of course. Woo! That's pretty fucking loud. But it's funny, because, like, that's what they would have, like, in the store. You know, like, I, I remember walking around old department stores and stuff back in the day. And, uh, they would just have like static on the fucking TVs like they wouldn't always have them hooked up you know just so you could hear you know what was on them and stuff and I remember being in the store being that asshole kid that went like that and then your parents were like get the fuck over here you know so but yeah I can't even get the uh, bubbles to, to even pop up like usually you can get uh, something on here but this doesn't even fucking show anything. It just fucking looks like it's off the whole time. But, uh, it, it, you know, like I said, it, it did work or it does work. Um, but that was another problem with it, too. Something was weird with the auto channel. Uh, whenever it got unplugged or if, if, if the outlet it was connected to lost power, um, it would automatically go to that. So every fucking time I'd have to set it to auto program 
and wait for it to run through, and it was just a fucking nuisance, like, all the fucking time. So, anyhow, it's, it's, it's definitely a, a special relic of the past. You know, they just don't make them like they used to. It's kind of a sad thing because I even even the shitty ones I think were built better than uh, a lot of the newer TVs, and um, they lasted a lot longer. Uh, the colors on them lasted a lot longer. They just in general were really nice TVs, and you know, like the VCR and VHS tapes, they were around for a very long time. Once this this essentially became the standard. I mean, there's still a lot of homes that have these and use them. And you can still hook up your cable and, and other things like that to these tel televisions. And you can get digital converter boxes and still pick up, you know, signal TV um, over the air, you know, UHF and AHF and stuff uh, with these guys. So it's definitely, uh, like I said, it was uh, a, a, a very important piece of technology uh, that will not be soon forgotten, hopefully. Um, but any excuse to talk about old retro shit? So much for watching. And feel free to check out my other videos. I'll uh, link description. I'll make sure to, to link them in the description uh, below the video. And um, or, or at some point I'll try and post them again on my Facebook or Twitter. So thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for um, being a fan. As always, feel free to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, Jazzy Jeff 714 Feel free to check out my other videos. Um, i got the DVD drinking series, which is an older one, but a very funny one that always comes to mind. Um, I'm going to try and do more with that at some point, hopefully. Got plenty more trading card videos coming your way. I'm in the third season. And of course, uh, definitely some more fun, zany videos like this will be soon to come. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a fan. Tell your friends about me. Feel free to share me and spread me around, around the interwebs. Take care.